So you want to do a rectifying run, but you're not sure how to go about it. Let me go show you what I do. Hey everyone, Distiller Kreling here, one of your favorite home and hobby distillers. So yes, yeah, today we are doing some rectifying runs. Now rectifying runs you can do straight out of your mesh, or you can do it from a stripping run that you've done previously. Before I continue, let me go take you back to yesterday where I set up everything. Thank you, future me. Yes, this is me the day before where I set up everything. So let's quickly break it down what I have here. So here in the corner what we have got is 31.75 liters of stripping rums that I did. Check out this video of one of them that I did a while ago. They come together at 47.5% ABV. I want to dilute it down to about 20% ABV. It's always good to dilute before you redistill, redistill it again. It's just a good practice. So I'm going to reduce it or dilute it back to 20% ABV. And according to my calculations, I need to add 47.75 liters of water. It comes to a grand total of 75.5 liters that I'm going to redistill. So what I've got here is I'm going to set it up with four bubble plates that I'm going to use. I've already inserted the three and the fourth one is going to go right on top with this section. This is just a straight pipe. I put it up again for getting my still high enough so that I can capture my product here on the countertop as well. In my boiler, I've already assembled my heating element as well as my drain. Just gotta make sure it's closed, I see it's still open. So I'm gonna add half of the water, add my rums, and then add the rest of the water, build up my tower. I also got some copper mesh that I'm gonna insert inside the vent, as well as just on top of my reflux before it's reduced. Now I'm not gonna use the reflux today, it's also still just to help me with height. I've got a bigger roll of copper mesh that I like to put right on top of my reflux condenser. It also helps to keep it there and then I put on my reducer. That will go right on top before it comes to the bend. The bend itself, I've got copper mesh in as well. I roll it a nice roll and I just push it in until I can see, yes, it's nice and even. And that will go right on top before it comes down. And then it will be my condenser and my parrot. So that's it for setting up. I'm going to do all of this and get it build up and then it's going to stand and then we will distill tomorrow that's basically now thank you future me ah uh, thank you past me all right guys yes so i've got my bubble trays in open at the top condenser in and i will be collecting it right at the back collecting into my measuring cylinder where i will take record transfer it over into the glass carboys at the moment when i started the heating element that i have it's got a four kilowatt power output at the complex where I'm staying, I can only push it up to about 3.5 kilowatts, so I had it at 85% power. Pushed up, to heat, got it heated up nice and fast until my top boiler temperature was about 50 degrees Celsius. At 50 degrees Celsius, I cranked down about 40% power to about 1.6 kilowatt. For a rectifying run, you want to do it nice and slow. You don't want to do it as fast as a stripping run because you want the bubble trays to work. You want the copper to take out the sulfites in time you want to have a decent run so for now yes i'm at 40 percent power my temperature currently is 52 degrees right on top of the boiler it will now increase more or less when it reaches about 70 72 degrees i will start to really see more activity inside i have done this already so i know where and what's my aim and where i want to take it if you have not done it it's best to take cuts, have your different containers, different cuts, small cuts, say 50 to 100 milliliter cuts and taste it as you go. I know where I want to take it. I'm going to do my rectifying run, take off heads right on, on the start. Then I'm going to run it until I'm about 20% ABV. At 20% ABV, I will then start to do my own individual cuts and have a taste. I know where at what point my taste really gets bad then I know that's where I will stop but a rectifying run and part of home and hobby distilling it's your preference it's how you want your taste 
how you want to do your run. So it's not, this is how you're supposed to do it and that's the only way. No, this is how I do it, but it's just for fun and just want to show you guys how I proceed. So for now, I will wait till the temperature picks up a bit more. It's cracked, cranked down a bit now and then we'll have some fun. Things are looking good so far. As you can see, I'm starting to get some activity on the plates, moving up. And you can see they're not bubbling yet. It's just that the liquid is starting to lie on the plates as well. It's looking good. Temperature at the boiler currently is 80.5 degrees Celsius. Right on top, on top of my reflux that's not connected today, my temperature is about 27.8 degrees. So I know the vapor has not gone all the way to the top yet. But at least I can see, yes, things are starting to happen and we're getting to that point where it will start to go over the top and come down and then we will collect the heads at the bottom. The liquid has started to come out, first trips is out, I've collected my heads, I take it in small 25 mil increments. First two, I, my first two rows of 250 mil I just leave. Here on my last row, I started testing it. I could still taste some sharpness on the first four. The first one, I was quite happy. I'm starting to get that sweet taste of ethanol. I have closed my parrot's bottom drain and the parrot is busy filling up. I'm also going to add this 25 mils into the parrot there on top as I'm quite satisfied with that. So my run has basically started now. Um, I can see there's definitely better activity than the previous time. You can see the plates are really starting to work at this moment. My aim for the four plates is still to get a very flavorful rum. I don't want to use too, many, too much plates or too many plates that I end up with a less flavor. I still want to run it like a brandy. So I only got the four plates in today. Hopefully it will give me that taste. I have run it before and I'm quite happy with the four plates. So for now, I'm just going to let it run through the day, collect as I go along. Maybe when I add it maybe two or three times into the glass carboy, I will pop up a video again just to show you guys how the activity looks. But this is basically how it will now run for the rest of the day. When I'm done, I will then make a quick recap of how the things are looking. But at the moment, I'm running with a 81.3 degree on the boiler top here and my Top temperature I saw is now around 69.7 degrees, so it's definitely starting to heat up nicely on top as well. And just feeling that it's not bubbling yet, so the parrot is still filling. I will let it fill until I will start to collect. Things is going good, guys. So far, I've collected about almost 8 liters of product. Still going nice and slow, that's how I want it. Got my boiler temperature still at 84.5 degrees. On top it's staying steady there by 71 degrees Celsius. I like to keep it there. I'm reaching now the high 70s and ABB. Still going fairly good. Very pleased. Still collecting it in my glass claw boys. Very happy. I will still just let it run through. Still keeping the power consumption at power output at 40%. That 1.6% uh, kilowatts on the heating element and I will let it run until I'm at my 20% ABV there after that I will start to taste and see if I will keep it or just chuck it away and make it uh, or call it a day but for now I'm happy and we'll still continue all right guys and that is it I'm calling it a day as you can see I stopped at just below 20% ABV the taste that came out was still pretty good, so I let it run just slightly longer. All in all, I collected 21.5 liters and it came to a 65.5% ABV in total. I've got 13 liters in this one and then about 8.5 liters in this one. So I'm quite happy with that. It's a lot of rum, I'm going to make a plan with it. I actually need the carboys for my grain fermentation, but don't worry, we'll always make a plan. So I hope it helps you guys to see a rectifying run that it's done much slower than a stripping run and you get a better product quality out than you did if you do. Yeah. You tend to get a better quality product out when you do a rectifying run against a stripping run. But until I post again, remember guys, to be awesome, to be kind and be yourself. Cheers.